Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some absolutely amazing news. I don't usually say that in regards to War Thunder, but for once Gaijin hit the nail on the head. This is a change that I have been hoping will come for years, basically ever since I got a PC. They are now offering the ability, at least for PlayStation 4 or 5 accounts, so PlayStation Network accounts, to be able to essentially clone your account over to have a full-fledged PC account, which gives you access to the marketplace as well as anything else, that the store, anything specific to PC accounts, which this is huge. And this is all thanks to this forum post. I'm going to link this down below because I'm not going to cover maybe every single thing that you guys are thinking of. So if you have any questions, go directly ask on this forum post because I don't have all the answers. I'm just going to go through the post that they made explain it as best I can for you guys so you can decide whether or not you want to do it because for me I think I'm gonna do it because I want the access to uh, I want the access to the PC account and to not have to boot up my PlayStation every time I want to spend the GE that I can get from my requests and whatnot because it's just a pain in the ass but anyways let's get started I'm gonna read through this and I'll kind of break it down for you guys because it is a little confusing and I had to read through it a couple times to kind of understand it fully because there are a few things that you need to take account of because you will lose a few things when you do this okay so we'll start at the top as you know it is possible to create war thunder account a little bit of bad grammar there but besides that, in the PlayStation 4 or 5 version of the game and link it to an email in order to log in with it on the official forums or PC version of the game. If you haven't seen my video on that, I covered how you can link an email, so you can check that out. I'll put it up in the top if you haven't done that before. We are now offering the opportunity to unlink your PlayStation Network bound account. As a result of this process, you will have two separate accounts. Original one that you can still use on the console, but can't use in the PC anymore, so you'll be able to still play on your PlayStation with your account, but the it won't be a cross-platform account anymore. It'll still be able to play with PC players and whatnot, but you won't be able to log into that account on your PC anymore because you'll have a cloned account that's separate from that one on the PC now as it says here, and another fully-fledged PC account with no restrictions for using Gaijin Store, etc. In-game progress will be saved at the moment of unlinking and after that will no longer be shared and will become independent on each platform. Like I said, once it's unlinked, you'll basically just have two identical accounts, so if I do it today, let's say, I'll have two Cone of Arc accounts that have the exact same vehicles, exact same progression, but one can only be used on the PC, one can only be used on the PlayStation 4. And they give two prerequisites. For technical reasons, at this stage, we do not offer the unlinking for accounts that also played and have purchased for PC versions of our games, which are cross out, um, that's Cuisine Royale, the new one that's just cursed without an E now, enlisted Star Conflict. If you are willing to sacrifice your progress in those titles, inform support about this in your request. So I haven't personally done this, but I'm assuming this means if you've used the account that you have for your War Thunder one on PS4, but you use that same Gaijin account for these games and you made a purchase, they're not going to let you do this. But it seems like if you're willing to do that, you can just tell them and they will still go through with it. But you might want to ask um, the, one of the store team directly because I'm not sure what they mean exactly by that. And the second one here is the email your PSN account is bound to has to be verified, otherwise you won't be able to reset your password and enable two-step author authorization once the unlinking is complete. So you just need to make sure that you've verified your email. So not too difficult and very, very simple. So what do you have to keep in mind as they say here? Well, first off, only purchases made Ooh. Only purchases made for GE in-game while in console version, including premium account time, will remain on the PC account. Golden Eagle balance will be set to zero on your PC account, so it's advised that you spend any Golden Eagles left on the original PlayStation Network account before initiating the unlinking. So basically, this means you can't... Let's say you have 10,000 Golden Eagles on your PlayStation 4 account. If you do this, that 10,000 Golden Eagles stays on your PlayStation 4. I'm assuming this is because 
you specifically paid for that on Sony, on Sony's platform. So because of the deal that Gaijin has with Sony, they can't let you take that GE with them or with it, with the account to PC. That's what I would assume. Next up, your Silver Lions balance is preserved, so you don't lose any Silver Lions. And one more thing about the Golden Eagles, it's essentially saying spend it all, so I've made a couple videos on how to spend money wisely in War Thunder, I'd recommend maybe checking those out, but essentially, maybe you've been waiting to pull the trigger on a couple premiums or something, wait until maybe the sales this season that are coming up, probably in the next couple weeks. You could spend all that GE, use the rest to boost something if it's only like 50 GE or something left, and then just swap over to PC if that's what you choose. That's I'm actually going to be doing a video right after I finish recording this. I'm going to go and blow all of that GE opening loot boxes, so <laughs> we'll have to see what I get because I have a bunch of GE left that I've requested that I haven't used to purchase anything just yet. So um, that video will probably be coming out sometime later this week once I get around to doing it. So uh, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Next up, any premium account time included in vehicle packs from the PlayStation Store will not be transferred. So, if you purchased a pack recently, like let's say you picked up the XM1, for example, that comes with, I think, a 30-day period of premium time. If you transfer, that 30 days stays on the PlayStation. So, don't do it until your premium time runs out unless you're willing to lose that premium time. For me, I'm not that worried about losing a little bit of premium time because I can always just get it back. But if you spent a good amount of money on it and you don't want to lose that premium time, keep using your account the way it is until the premium time expires, then do this if you want to do it. Although, as it says here, you keep the vehicles, except for the PlayStation exclusive A26 Invader. So if you would be too heartbroken to lose your invader, then don't do this. But <laughs> if you're fine with losing it, because I do own the plane, I think I've played it a grand total of like four times, but I do own it, but I'm willing to give it up just to have the ability to access the market and other stuff. But you'll still keep the vehicles that you bought in packs other than the exclusive ones. Next up, all market inventory items such as unused vehicle and skin coupons and trophies will remain on the original account. If you want to keep the content provided by these on the PC account, you have to consume them before unlinking, but boosters, wagers, orders, discount coupons will be transferred to the new account. I'm assuming they're doing this because they don't want people from the uh, PlayStation to be coming over with all these coupons that they may have saved up for whatever reason and they swap over and then suddenly flood the market with a bunch of uh, vehicle coupons and stuff. Not that it would really make that big of a difference, I don't think. I don't know why it's... I I'm assuming it just has to do with them not wanting to have to deal with that, which makes sense. So just if you have any vehicles that you want to keep or skins or anything, just activate them. Not a big deal. And you get to keep all your boosters, wagers, and stuff that you may have collected, so really no loss there. They recommend that you save your control presets into a file on the PC, which is a it's a very good suggestion because if it for whatever reason wipes your controls, which they seem to imply that it will, I don't know if it will or not, but it is a pain to have to redo all your controls, so just save your controls. It's literally like a single button press on the bottom of the controls. It just says save somewhere down there. You just click on that and it saves. Next up, your friends list will be reset. Not a really big deal. It just means you have to re-add all your contacts. A little bit of a pain in the butt, but hey, it's not that big of a deal. Next up, squadron membership, if you have any, will remain on the original account. Squadron vehicle research will be saved to the new account except for the last three days. To, conti to continue research, you will have to join a squadron again. So this is not a big deal for the majority of people, but let's say you're in a let's say you're in a squadron that isn't accepting applications anymore. Let the person in control of the squadron know before you do this so they can accept you back in or if you are the head of a squadron, I recommend making oh well actually you'll keep control of it in on the main account you will just need to go back into that account add yourself to the squadron and then transfer ownership over to yourself 
or transfer it over to someone that you trust who will then transfer it back to you. I recommend doing the first one though, just in case you trust someone and then they stab you in the back and don't give your, you your squadron back, because that would suck. And last but not least, it's a one-time, one-way offer. It's not possible to link the accounts back again. So bind another, or bind another email to your original PlayStation Network account. So once this is done, you don't have two identical accounts that you can use on PC. You have one for PC, one for PlayStation. You can't go back after this. You can't recombine the accounts, none of that. It is permanent after you've done this. So make sure it's what you want to do before you do it for sure. I think it's a very good thing, especially if you want to switch over to PC. Just remember there are a few things that you could lose like your premium 826 if you really, really love that vehicle and some of your premium time, stuff like that. I personally think that the benefits outweigh the costs, but if you still mainly play on PlayStation, this really isn't something that you should do, in my opinion. Once you've spent all GE and inventory items, or are willing to proceed regardless, create a ticket titled Unlinking PlayStation Network Bound Account at supportgaijin.net. And then they say that it could take up to 48 hours and is only provided during business days. While the unlinking is undergoing, your account will be frozen to prevent login to the game and interfering with the process. You'll be notified in a support ticket once all is done and you are able to request a password reset. So basically all that that means is you just need to send them an email and say, hey, I want my account unlinked. And then I'm assuming they only allow this on business days because this is something that they have to do manually i'm guessing they can't i don't i don't think it's something where they have to literally go in and click every single vehicle that you own it's probably just they have to scan something with your account and then just clone it over to a new account give you that account but regardless they can't do that with an automated system so they need to actually have one of probably the store team employees or someone who manages accounts do it manually for you and then give it to you so all in all, I think this is a really, really good thing for a company that likes to really kind of forget that the console exists with how bad it's been running lately from what I've heard and just kind of shafting everyone with the most recent changes with Sony that they did last year. This is an amazing change and just applause all around for Gaijin on this because this is a very very good change I'm very very happy to see that they did this this is a huge step in the right direction for um, PlayStation to PC uh, interchangeability and I'm very very happy about it this is gonna give me the ability to have access to the marketplace not that I'm really gonna use it that much but it just makes my life a whole heck of a lot easier because I don't have to keep my PlayStation updated to boot that up just to buy premiums with the GE that I asked for from Gaijin. It, it's just a pain in the ass. So this is very, very nice, especially if you are one of the people who maybe sold your PlayStation and have been playing for the last year or so now and haven't been able to buy premiums. Well, now you can again. So that's really nice. And I wish, I wish they had done the timing a little bit better on this. If they had done the last changes and announced this at the same time, there would have been no issue with the last set of changes. But that's enough of me waffling on about it. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this cleared up any confusion that you had about this or let you know that this is a thing because Gaijin likes to do posts on their forums and not do anything on anywhere else to let you guys know about this. Hopefully they'll be doing that in the future. To Maybe they'll do a video on their own channel or something. Maybe I'll shoot them a recommendation for that. But regardless, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and share it with anybody else who's on a PlayStation that you may know who might want to do this as well. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.